So in this video, I want to go through a few different ways of working with forces that are acting at an angle. So let's say um, we want to find the total moment about point A. We've got these two forces to deal with. Um, we're six metres away from this 12 Newton force acting at an angle of 30 degrees and five metres away from this perpendicular force uh, of 8 Newtons. So it's very easy to work with the 8 Newton force because we're just going to be doing 5 times 8. But as for this one, there are a few different techniques. My natural way of working would probably be to complete the triangle like that. That's the first thing that my brain goes to. And then thinking about, well, this is going to be uh, 12 uh, sine 30, because it's the opposite side. And then this would be 12 cosine 30. OK. Now, what I would then do is I would take moments about point A. And we are 6 metres away from the 12 sine 30. Now, this is the... This is the bit that's disconcerting with the way that I've drawn it, right? Because you might, you might be thinking, well, I need to find that distance. OK, but it's not that distance. It's the distance to where the force is acting. And this is that component of the force, that force, uh, the component of the force that's acting in that direction. So that can be the one the thing that can trip students up here. So that is going around in a clockwise motion, so it's negative. So take away 6 times by 12 sine 30. And then I'm 5 metres away from the 8 Newton force, which is going around in an anti-clockwise motion, so plus 5 times 8. And that is equal to uh, minus 6 times 12 times sine of 30 plus 5 times 8, and so that's 4, and that's Newton metres, okay, and the direction, because that is positive, this would be anti-clockwise. Okay, so 4 Newton metres anti-clockwise. So that's one possible way of dealing with that uh, diagonal force. OK, now, alternatively, you could think of drawing a right angle triangle this way. And some people might prefer this. Um, now, this angle here would then be 60 degrees to make that up to a right angle. And so this side is going to be 12 uh, cosine 60 degrees, and this is 12 sine 60 degrees. So now it's a little bit more clear that you're 6 metres away from the 12 cosine 60. So we could do 6, so minus 6 times 12 cosine 60, plus 5 times 8. OK, and that would get us the same answer. So that's an alternative. Now, my third way of doing it would be to use this right angle triangle here. OK, so you draw a line to your force and that makes a right angle. And so uh, it's all about working out this distance here. OK, so that distance is going to be, well, we've got this hypotenuse 6. And this is the opposite side with that angle. So this is 6 sine 30. So what we do is we then think, OK, well, that's still going round in a clockwise motion, so it's still negative. And the distance away from the 12 Newton force is 6 sine 30. So it's minus 6 sine 30 times by the 12 Newton force plus 5 times 8. And of course, that's going to get us the same result as I had up there. So there are different ways of dealing with that diagonal force. 
And it's really up to you as to which one you want to utilize. There's no wrong answer here. It's whichever one or way uh, that suits you in the problem that you're dealing with um, and suits you best in order to solve the problem.